Well, there sits our painting so far. I'll just go through the sky here briefly. Got that overhanging cloud painted in. I think I groomed that edge enough um, of the close cloud to the far uh, the far cloud. Broke it up a little bit, you know, it helps to loosen things. Anyway, I think that's going to work. And then went to the distant water. And a little higher in value where it's below these clouds to catch the reflection of the clouds a little bit or the light from the clouds and then tone the value down moving off to the right as we get away from our focal area so it's less important not real textural but still somewhat textural now these rocks uh, you can see I've well, you might have noticed that since the last, or since the initial sketch, I've really raised their profile. I've really made them much taller rocks than they were to start with. Um, I, I sketched them in again taller, and then a second time I made them even taller because I really would like some interest in those rocks, and those trees will be just kind of a, a framing mechanism for the rocks. Uh, I initially thought this island would be more of a silhouette and it still will be somewhat somewhat but I needed to put some some light on these rocks and as long as I keep the light cool enough I hope it won't look like there's any sunlight directly on them but rather they're picking up ambient light from the surroundings it's been very I can't say I haven't done much. I've just failed a lot today. These rocks, I like when I paint rocks to have, to show or to allow uh, the warp and weft of the canvas to show through. I like that bite, that texture that it gives. But I, I kept laying the knife into these rocks and failing and failing and failing. And um, I always tend to feel that when you're failing at something, you just bear down and work harder and eventually you'll conquer it. Um, with painting, sometimes you have to be, have patience and just leave something for a while, get your head straight and come back to it. And sometimes it's just a practical matter of, of scraping off paint and uh, allowing it to become tacky before re you revisit it. So I kept charging at this bit of rock. It's okay. It's, it needs a bit of work. It's, I ended up making things quite slimy because I kept removing and, and replacing paint uh, but when you have when you have that sort of more buttery looking rock surface what you also seem to end up with is a wetter looking rock surface which may not be so bad anyway I think what I'll do now is I will uh, I'll park the camera close to myself and I'll do a little bit of rock painting and I actually painted these rocks in front of the camera thinking I was recording explaining myself the whole way once again the camera was off now I'm going to continue with the rocks this time with the camera on <laughs> I hope you come along with me thanks well, I don't even know if I should be doing this right now it's at the end of the day I'm quite tired and I've, <laughs> I've filled quite a bit today uh, in my painting endeavors, so maybe we'll just see how it goes. Yeah, I don't want that line quite that hard. Darker. Hmm. Yeah. 
Try to keep things a bit angular here. See, through all my correcting of this rocky structure, I've made the whole area fairly wet. So rather than the canvas biting into things as I lay them on, the paint just kind of goes on there in a slimy way and it makes things more difficult. But to be honest with you, I'm having a hard time stopping because well, I always have a hard time stopping. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. A little bit of light. Because there is no direct sunlight on these rocks, I I don't mind. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want too much of a difference between light and dark. There's no point to it. Oh. Just holding my breath here. Okay. I'm not going to be able to keep painting here. I, I'm not, I don't have a clear vision of what I want to do. Not happy at all with what's going on. And if it's not going to be strong, it's not worth doing.
So, we'll scrape that off. And not the entire rock area, but the stuff I'm not happy with. I'm going to remove the excess oil. This has a bunch of raw umber in it, so by tomorrow morning it should be dry. <coughs> but I've had a very frustrating day. And it's funny, eh? Because here I sit whining about a frustrating day. When I get to do this for a living, it's ridiculous. Nonetheless, if it's not good enough, it's not good enough. Stop it, get away from it. I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting yeah, a little more than just peeved. So I'm stopping now and I will continue later. See ya.